Booyah. So we are making some honey barbecue ribs. Oh, shoot. But check this out. I got some St. Louis style pork spare ribs with the bone in. It's going to have all that blood and that juice from the pork. Yeah, I want to go ahead and open these and just drain that into the sink. The only thing that's missing is butter, to be honest. I don't have any butter off the top of my hand. Drain all that blood out. Oh, yes. I'm gonna wash my hands. We got the oven preheated to uh, 420 plus. There's our ribs. I'm gonna go ahead and tenderize it. It's been dethawed to room temperature. There we go. All right, so into our sauce. I'm gonna throw in some Bud Light. Some Payne Rust County all meat seasoning. A little bit of that. Honey Chipotle barbecue rub. A little bit of that. We're gonna add some liquid smoke. A couple drops of that. Liquid smoke in there. Some bone suck and steak season rub. This is a two minute marinade steakhouse. Pour some of that in there. Now we're gonna add our um, that same honey habanero hot sauce we used, or the honey mustard. And then we're gonna throw in like five of these honey packets that I have left over from McDonald's. The only thing missing is some butter. Some ketchup packets to thicken up the sauce a bit. Got like four more patch packets. I'm gonna use the top of the stove, plug in my phone charger. Get this old 70s stove. Bitchin'. I'm gonna use that to uh, charge my phone. There we go. Now we're gonna stir that sauce around. And then we're gonna throw it in the oven. Let it bake for about 35, 40, 45 plus minutes. It's a little bit thick, a little, little bit runny, a little bit thick. That's just fine. Well, I'll splash more beer to that. Beep. These ribs barely fit the baking sheet or the baking tray, so it's gonna be a tight squeeze. Oh, that's a heavy sound bitch. Yeehaw. Let's pour a little bit of that sauce into the sink. We don't need, we don't need all of it. Now they go in the oven for a good 45 to 48 minutes. You see those ribs? Like I paid like 15, 16 bucks for this rack and it barely fits your standard baking. I'm gonna put it on the uh, bottom rack, closer to the heat. There's our rack of pork ribs with the bone, baby. I didn't pour all the sauce out just enough so that the bottom and the top were glazed. Barbecue ribs. Cheers, YouTube. I've only done ribs like once. So I guess this will be a honey barbecue version with like a little bit of Chipotle. <coughs> I'll check back with you in a minute. See when the ribs are done. And now while those ribs cook, I turn the heat down to the lowest setting possible so they wouldn't overcook while I do the rant. Ladies, gentlemen, they, them. If you do not believe in 2021 that there is a concerted effort to normalize pet... No, he's not. Satanic 11 rules of the earth, rule number nine. 
course, people are going to talk shit on this because that's what they do. I own my trolls. They have nothing better to do. They have nothing better to do. No, it's on the lowest setting possible. They're not going to burn, trust me. Go vegan, go fuck yourself. Veganism is cruelty to animals and plants. Because the animals who eat plants, like rabbits and shit, you're taking the food out of their mouth to eat it for yourself. So you're starving the animals, starving yourself of natural food. Blair White's pretty hot. That used to be a dude. So whoever did her surgery, very convincing. If I was into trans women, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I hear that. I'm all about of age women personally, yes. 21's as low as I go. Oh, I'm 30 years old now. Like, you know what I'm saying, you two? I'll be 31 next year. Like, oh my god. King Cobra's about to be 31 next year? Holy shit! <laughs> All my gothic King Cobra 52 fans are gonna be like, God, I'm getting old. <laughs> and I'm like, no, you're not. Age is only a state of mind. Next video, you'll see me munching out on some ribs. See how they turned out. They smell pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Those ribs, baby. I got them out of the oven. I cut them into sections, get the grease cleaned off, but look at those ribs, baby. Beautiful. I'm gonna eat this one right here. Let's see how it do. Mm. Oh, fuck me, those are good. Oh, YouTube took a couple bites of the ribs. Look at that steam action. Fresh rib action, baby. YouTube, I would make these again. For being on the spot, I had no idea what the hell I was doing as far as how to make the sauce. I seen a couple of basic barbecue recipes. So I just do it together based off my basic knowledge of barbecue. Look how tender that is. It just came right off the bone. The sugar from all the honey caramelized on top of the uh, rib, yes. I haven't done a cooking video in a while, but I used ingredients that the fans sent me, some local ingredients. You get a kick from the habanero. It's vaguely there. One thing I would add to that barbecue sauce if I redid it, when I made these ribs, if I make them again, is add like a little bit of melted butter. Other than that, do these ribs turn out dank? Mm. I pretty much turned off the stove during the uh, Blair White rant, and then turned it back on afterwards, so they wouldn't overcook. Pull that shit apart. Oh shit, YouTube. Mm. Sweet Lucifer. Look how tender that is, YouTube. Straight off the bone, steaming hot. I probably could try to make this into a wand handle. <coughs> probably not. A barbecue sauce that I kind of made on the spot in the last part one of this rib rib video here. Got all crispy and chewy on the outside with that gristle effect. <sighs> YouTube, I slapped four of them ribs in my stomach. Yo, I would definitely make these again, dude. If I'm not having any barbecue sauce on hand or any butter, how I normally do my ribs, mm. these turn out dank. Catch you later.